Hey guys, um, I just wanted to first of all say thank you so much for all the really, really, really lovely comments and all the views on my first video in a long while um, that I posted the other day. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I had such lovely comments from you guys and it was so nice hearing from um, you all again. Um, yeah, so that was really cool. So I really, yeah, thanks so much. Um, and hi again! Um, it feels really, really, really nice to be back. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, just feel really excited about this. And it's so nice being able to talk about um, all my beauty related things to my heart's content. And yeah, so it's just, yeah, really good. So yeah, thanks again. Really appreciate it. Um, so I thought I would start with um, a video about tinted moisturisers. As you know that that's probably one of my favourite um, beauty items. It's definitely something I think I've spent the most on. It's definitely something that I have the most of. Um, and to be honest with you, I think I am constantly going to be searching for the one. Um, I love the chase. I love, I love looking for the best one. Um, I'm never quite happy enough, so I'm always finding new products, trying new products. So I thought I would just share with you um, some that are firm favourites, that have been firm favourites for quite a few years now, and then some new products that I now feel like I can't live without. Um, so first of all, I did actually talk about this product in my previous video, um, but it's this. The Madeira Sunflower Golden Beige Tinting Fluid. It's what I have on right now. Um, super, super natural, great for the daytime. Um, I love wearing it. Gives the skin a really kind of luminous, kind of glowy look um, without being shiny. Um, it doesn't cover um, very kind of thickly. So if you have a lot of imperfections, I'm not sure how much you'd like it or you might want like maybe concealer on there as well um so it is super light but it's just so natural um and again it's um cruelty free it's um clean organic beauty so yeah really ticks all the boxes for me at the moment um along with that um is a firm favorite um this is the hourglass ambient um light correcting primer in dim light that's the color that i use um, so it's kind of like um, a beigey, a beigey colour, if you see on my hands. So this is a little bit um, kind of tanned dark for me, I would say. Um, so it's great at the moment while I have a tan, um, but in the winter this would probably be a bit too dark for me. Um, but yeah, really, really love these two together. Um, so Hourglass isn't organic makeup. Hourglass is vegan and cruelty free and they use loads of kind of more natural ingredients um, they don't use kind of parabens or stuff like that so have a look at their website and um, they do have a full kind of list um, of products that are completely vegan um, and ones to go for so yeah this is this is just super good I love it um, and so until I find kind of a completely clean organic alternative I'm going to carry on using this because I like it so much um, so yeah, really, 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 really love those two as a combo. Um, another one that I really like um, is this. This is the Vapor Cosmetics Atmosphere Soft Focus Foundation. This stuff is so, so, so good. Um, so I would use this uh, on a night out um, if I wanted a kind of a bit more coverage, if my skin maybe wasn't kind of that clear um, and I just needed that you know a bit more coverage um this stuff is great um so it has kind of an oily texture which i feel initially i was a bit well, not really sure because i can have quite oily skin sometimes so kind of an oily foundation with oily skin that could be a disaster <laughs> but it actually works really well um, and it actually works best um, being put on with um, my fingers um, so I don't actually use a brush for this um, so it's so easy to go on you actually don't need that much um, it's yeah it's just really good and it really gives the skin a really flawless kind of glowy look and I absolutely love it so the shade that I use is S125 um and yeah it's so good so if you want to try kind of an organic um alternative uh, foundation please give vapor a try they're literally 
becoming one of my favourite uh, makeup brands. I just, every product that I've tried by them, I absolutely love. So they're the ones that I've been using kind of the most in the past few months. So kind of firm favourites over the past years um, has, uh, you know, I've talked about this brand kind of in my much older videos. I I just adore this brand. Um, and that's Shanti Kai. So these two are such good products. Um, so this is the Future Skin Foundation. So this colour actually is Alabaster. Um, this is what I would wear in the winter time. Um, I go really, really pale, so I'm like the palest, um, but it's so, so good. Um, the ingredients, it's all really natural. Um, I love Shanti Kai makeup. I think all of, all of the makeup's fabulous. I haven't ever used anything that I didn't like. Um, it really works kind of my sensitive skin. It just makes your skin look perfect. Um, I worked in a makeup shop and whenever I did someone's kind of make this is ages ago but whenever I did someone's makeup I would always go for this foundation because you just looked perfect it was just just a fell proof foundation it's just perfect so yeah it is like 60 pounds which is so much um, but it lasts a long time and as I said if you want to kind of splurge and really treat yourself definitely try this um, so the other one that's really good is the Just Skin, which is the like tinted moisturiser version. Um, again, just makes your skin look perfect. So this sage, you can see that I've nearly finished it, um, is nude. That again is like the colour that I would use in the summertime when I have a bit of a tan. Um, so yeah, again, this stuff is just so good and I will always kind of go back to them throughout the years. That's really, really good. So other ones that I really, really like, now people have uh, talked about this product before, um, and that's the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. So I'm not really using this as much now, just because I am kind of more into the kind of natural organic uh, makeup, but this is still a great foundation. Um, so for anyone that hasn't tried this, I would highly recommend. This is probably one of the best tinted moisturizers I've ever used. Um, again, your skin looks perfect, like flawless. It's so, 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 so good. Um, so I actually purchased this with the IT Cosmetics um, foundation brush and that works perfectly. You just really need to kind of buff it into the skin. So any kind of flat foundation brush, um, like a powder, like a round flat one would be great. Um, so yeah, please do try this um, if you're looking for something new and um, yeah, if you're not kind of too fussed about it being organic or natural, I would highly, highly recommend this. Um, again, they're animal friendly. Um, so that's, that's, that's a good thing about that brand. Um, so another foundation that's really, really good that I use in the winter time is Hourglass again, and it's their stick vanishing stick. Um, so, oh, you can see I've used loads. <laughs> um, so yeah, it looks like that. I'm sure you've all seen it before, but this again is a really flawless, um, kind of foundation that I really, really liked and really worked for my skin tone. Um, and kind of like, yeah, it just would make you look perfect. So I'm all for making the skin look flawless and perfect when, you know, without the makeup on, it doesn't really look. Um, but yeah, that's a great one too. So kind of, I would say, um, it's more of the expensive price. I think it, how much is it? Maybe like £40, if not maybe slightly less, I can't quite remember. I will put a link to everything I've talked about in um, the bottom bar, um, so you can have a look for yourselves. Um, so finally, the last kind of um, tinted moisturiser I wanted to talk about is a brand that I actually don't see talked about that much, that I really, really like. Um, so it's an Australian brand called Luma Cosmetics. Um, my mum actually went on holiday to Australia and bought some of them back, and then since then I've then purchased online. Um, now it's made by the model Jess Hart. Um, and it's just so good. So this is actually 80% natural. Um, it's got no parabens, no synthetic colours, no mineral oils, and it's lower return. So as you 
probably have gathered, I have quite sensitive skin, so um, I always try and use kind of the more kind of sensitive, um, aimed at more sensitive skin products. Um, so yeah, this is really good, it's great, it's really cheap I think, I think it's maybe like, I think maybe £15, I think the equivalent, um, but she always seems to have a sale on, so I actually got it even cheaper than that when I um, ordered online, so have a look out for the sales that they do, they're really really good, um, so yeah, highly recommend that, it just gives a really good kind of just all over glow, um, it's not very thick, um, so it's kind of good for the summer if you're on holiday and you just kind of want a little bit of cover as it's got SPF 15 in it too. Um, I would highly recommend from the Luma brand um, the highlighters. They are so good. They have three colours. I've got all three colours and they're brilliant. I love a good highlighter. Um, it's a cream highlighter. I love cream highlighters. Um, so yeah, have a check um, out of Luma Cosmetics. Um, they're a really lovely brand. So yeah, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Um, the setting powder that I use pretty much all the time and that I would use with all of those is the RMS Unpowder. That stuff is great. Um, if you're looking for a new setting powder, I'd really, really recommend it. It's like translucent colour um, and it's so, so good. Um, I've had mine for ages and I've still got loads left, so I think it's about £28, but pretty worth it because it just like lasts forever. Um, so yeah, I hope you're having a great day, um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, I hope that um, if you fancy getting any new tinted moisturisers, you might now know which one you want, perhaps. Um, but yeah, speak to you all soon, and please um, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know if you'd like me to do any other kind of videos, um, or any of your recommendations for tinted moisturisers would be great too. Thanks, bye!